time! Gosh darn it. So I started doing shakes again. Wasn't doing shakes for a while, but this is usually my breakfast now, so cashew milk. Don't usually use cashew milk, but Commonwealth was just here and he brought his cashew milk. So I guess he was using it because it has less calories than almond, but I would usually use almond. So almond, ice. I use the milk and cookies, our whey protein, a scoop and a half, and then a banana, and that pretty much makes a perfect shake. Also, some low fat or no fat whipped cream, and just tops it off. And then for breakfast, I'll also do, I got some waffles right here, but usually I'll do like a bagel. And then today, just gotta get a lot of background work done. Tomorrow, we're releasing our new product in focus. It's my favorite product so far. So, just a lot going on. I'll show you guys some of the behind the scenes work, so it should be a pretty good video. Show you some of the business aspects of what we're doing and just everything that's going on right now. So because we had a pretty good month and everything with the protein release, we got a little bonus. Me and Joe both got new NMDs, but I wore these once. These to Jack Allen's and I see that I don't think that was from me. There's like crap all over them already, so. This is why I don't wear nice shoes to the gym and stuff. They just get a mess up. This car is absolutely filthy. It's been weeks since I got it washed. I gotta get this thing washed. I'll tell you what, HEB does it all. Gas, car wash, groceries. They're hitting me with all three today, so. I gotta do a grocery haul later, like a bulk grocery haul, so. Show you guys what I'm eating lately, but I have gone to a lot of shakes, things like that. It's different than the past. I haven't gotten groceries for like three weeks. I'm just either going out to eat or just scavenging whatever I have left at the house. So I have to get $200 worth of groceries today. I have nothing right now. So you guys can see right here, we put a little sign up for our members. We're actually going to a key card access system. That's so we don't always have to be here. So going to not a 24 hour system, but just so that we don't always have to be here. We're gonna have the same hours, but just, you know, sometimes we have to be here from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. We wanna do other things. We don't always wanna be here as, you know, as much as we love it, we gotta get away for a little bit more. So we're going to this, we have really, you know, trusting, members already we don't have a ton of members but this is gonna be a good idea one problem we might have in the beginning is that people keep coming on weekends we do have weekend hours but they're just not as long as they used to be so just want to get people aware that we may not always be here you know 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I'm sorry 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday and we are not in here on Sunday so just a little heads up if anyone's coming to visit but yeah, overall, this is just gonna be so much better for us and just allow us to grow, you know, the supplement business more. So, t well, by the time this video comes out, it, I'm probably gonna release this video tomorrow, which is Monday at 9 a.m. Central. But this is gonna be released. This is probably our biggest product release since protein. But this is my favorite thing to take, to be honest, and it's just a little scoop too. Like you can see, it's just small. This is 50 servings in here. And we're marketing in focus toward kind of like your, your nine to fiver, your entrepreneur, someone that for me personally, I would use it instead of drinking coffee. So it gives me a better energy. I have more focus. Um, right now I'm just going to use it as a pre-workout instead of taking pre-workout too. Cause I had a little cup of coffee this morning, so I don't want too much caffeine or anything, but yeah, this is a hard hitter. Only like one little scoop. You don't even need to, and it hits you pretty good. We got some country blaring today. We got shoulders. First exercise I'm doing, standing dumbbell press. I do these instead of sitting lately. I just like prefer them over that. I lighten it up a little bit. I used to go a lot heavier and kind of swing the weight around. Now I try to get full range of motion. So all the way up, coming down all the way to my shoulder, all the way up. Before I used to kind of just do one of those, kind of like this. Now I'm just trying to get as much out of the movement as I can. So I am going lighter now. Usually I'll get up to about 75, that's the heaviest I'll go on standing, but to keep perfect form at 70 or 10 reps, I'm gonna go 70s today. This is my last set.
Okay, so same thing here, four sets of 10 reps, and the only reason why I do it reverse and going this way is because I feel like it hits more my kind of middle toward the back of the delt rather than just the front delt. So, like I always do, a lot of the first two move movements of a shoulder workout, I'll do two presses. Now the rest of the shoulder workout, what I've been doing is supersets, so two compound movements to start, two shoulder presses, and then for my supersets, I'll do a front delt into another front delt, same with sides, go from like side laterals to side cables, and then same with rear delts, I'll do a, you know, like a fly movement into another type of, or variation of a fly. So those type of supersets are what I'm doing right now, and then to finish the whole thing, I'll just do some straight sets of shrugs with the dumbbells, but honestly, for traps, I think the best thing for me is deadlifts, because you'll see the difference of me and my brother, the big difference of our physiques is his traps are 10 times bigger than mine, and I think that's because he takes deadlifts so serious, he can do, do so much more than me. So that's why I, another reason why I'm getting back into deadlifts. So that's gonna be the workout. I don't need to show you guys the rest. You've seen it before, but that's it. So I had to drive a good bit further to go to HEB Plus, because the regular HEB right across from the gym, it's a smaller one, but it gets so packed that even if you are like, during the week, at like 10 or 11 at night, it's still jam packed. So today would be crazy Sunday, everyone's grocery shopping. That's like my biggest pet peeve, running into everyone's card and just, I don't like that. So I need a little more space. Plus this place has a little more selection. So more to choose from. All right guys, so just some of the things I got. Eggs, of course, I always get the, two packs of the 36 rather than the huge five dozen or whatever. I think these are just more quality usually. 40 flour tortillas, bagels, those are my breakfast, go-to carb. We got some pizza, a crust underneath. I'm probably gonna make some pizza. I love salad, haven't been eating it because I ran out, so I get all different kinds. Usually the heads of lettuce, but they were pretty, just, they weren't very quality, so I just got one. As far as the meats, got some sausage. When I'm bulking, I really don't care about the fat. Some pork chicken thighs, chicken with the skin. You gotta watch out for that because the fat gets pretty high. So no breast, breast just don't like the taste of it. As far as sauces, got some barbecue sauce, some salsa, actually got some chips too, but salsa, it's a lot more healthier than things like ketchup and just lean, or not leaner, but less uh, carbs and whatnot. Almond milk for my shake time, also bananas for my shake time. And then just some pickles, zero calorie, I think, on these guys. But just to sum it up, that's about it. Also got a huge bag of cheese. I love putting cheese on pretty much everything, but that's pretty much it, guys. So the last five days, I have been motivated to do cardio. I never do cardio, but I just want to feel good. I want to get back in shape as far as my heart rate, as far as, you know, get it's good for your heart. It's good for your cardiovascular system. That's something I need right now. So I want to get as strong as possible. I'm gonna be in as good as cardio shape as I was when I played high school football. So this step mill right here, this thing's awesome. It's going for 15 minutes every day at level 80. And it's just a killer, so gives you a good quad, quad pump too. All right, so let's wrap this video up. Tomorrow is our big day. You know, the wide angle lens makes your arms look big. Uh, everyone that comes in and sees me says that I look bigger in person because I use the wide angle, so I look little. And then other people use cameras that make them look bigger on camera, but then they look smaller in person, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. But uh, tomorrow, big day, we're releasing our product in focus. Second biggest day, buying protein, and then tomorrow you're going to see our protein manufacturer. So. Tomorrow, um, I'm headed out to talk to the, the manufacturers, meet with them, and work on new flavors. And Preston and you know, Joe will stay back and ship some in focus. Something we've wanted to do for a while is go into you know the manufacturers and film, and I think he'll get really good you know behind the scenes videos. Um, I think it's something that a lot of people want to see. I know a lot of companies do it, but I don't think they produce videos with high quality when they go into the manufacturer. So it's definitely an exciting project he's going to do. You know, I myself am excited to see it so 
It takes hours to get some clips of some protein being bottled. Yep, big day tomorrow. And a lot of people don't know that protein actually actually has to be manufactured in a separate facility than things like pre-workout and or other products. So allergen-free facility. We actually use different manufacturers for different products. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. A lot of good things coming, and I'll see you in the next one. Boom!